In this short Notion video, I will be covering a few very useful Notion aesthetic tips that you can use to improve your Notion dashboard and make it a lot more enjoyable to work on. So first of all, I would recommend using dark mode. You can access the dark mode feature by just going to settings and then going to appearance and then just click on dark. Or you can use the shortcut key which is Control shift l And then you can just toggle between dark and light mode. Next you will want to go to this menu button and then turn on small text as well as full width. You can also change the font and I'm just going to be using mono as it's a really nice aesthetic font. Next is the icon so just click on add icon and then go to the two links in the description which will take you to two notion icon websites and then you can simply just browse through all of these icons and if you like an icon you can just simply click on the icon and it will copy it to your clipboard so I'm just gonna choose a random icon this coffee mug and then go back click on icon go to link paste your link and then click on submit and the icon is changed and if you're using light mode for some reason <laughs> then you can just click on toggle dark icons and then you will find the light icons and the same goes for this other website next we're going to be adding a cover so just click on add cover and this will generate one of notions covers you can change it by just click on change cover and you can browse through notions covers you can browse through multiple images on unsplash you can click on upload and you can upload your own cover so you can create the cover inside of canva and then you can also paste a link to a certain cover so I'm going to be using animated covers so just go to website like Giphy and here you can browse through multiple GIFs and animated backgrounds and I'm just going to be using the one I'm always using because I really like this one so just click on share and then copy GIF link go back click on change cover and then paste it in the link and then there you go you can also reposition this cover as you'd like and then yeah now you have an animated cover next we're gonna be embedding a Spotify playlist so this is really useful if you're using Spotify on your computer or laptop a lot so just go to Spotify click on more go to share click on copy link to playlist go back to notion and then paste the link and click on create embed and then there you go now i have a spotify playlist inside of notion so you can just click on one of the songs and start listening to it and you can also resize this playlist by just dragging at the sides next we're going to be adding widgets to our notion so just go to indify.co again the link will be in the description for all of the websites i'm using but here you can find multiple widgets they're constantly also bringing out new widgets as you can see there's three more coming soon so yeah these are pretty much self-explanatory what they do um, I'm gonna be using a button for example so just click on create widget just type in the name of your widget and then take a link to whatever website or video you want to use and then just copy the link and paste it underneath this URL option and then the button text you can change so I'm just gonna type in icons and you can also change the emoji so you can pick any type of emoji and they also have this custom option where you can choose companies so say for example it's youtube then I'm just gonna click on this and yeah you can change the colors you can change the font so i'm just gonna choose mono so it matches you can change the size of the button you can change the corner so I'm just going to choose round because that looks really nice turn on dark mode if you're using dark mode and then just copy this link to your clipboard and then go back to notion paste the link and click on create embed you can add multiple widgets you can say for example we want to add a google calendar widget just click on create widget and then you'll have to sign in with a google account for the google calendar if you have signed in with your Google Calendar, then you will be able to select whatever calendar you're going to use. You can choose the default view 
these options are only available if you have the pro version of Indify, but yeah, it's not necessary unless you really want to change those options. And then at the bottom, I'm just gonna turn on dark mode and then copy this link to clipboard, go back to Notion and then create embed. And there you go. Now I have a Google Calendar embedded inside of Notion. And I'm also going to be using a third widget, so I'm just going to choose this live progress bar. Here you can just choose your birthday and how many years you expect to live. And then this will show you the percentage of year, month, week, day, quarter and life. So you can toggle this on or off. So, so I don't want to use this one. Put the day first and the week, month, year and life. And then yeah, there's pretty much a life progress bar. So you can also change all of these options and turn on dark mode again. Copy this link to clipboard. Go back to Notion, paste it and click on create embed. And now you have a life progress bar. Now you just want to resize the widgets and drag them around until you think it looks good. You can also drag the widgets next to databases and I'm going to show you an example of one of my Notion templates. This is one of my Notion dashboards which you can find the link to the video in the description below. But this is just to show an example and to give you some ideas of how you can use widgets and how you can drag all the certain databases and blocks and everything around and just make your dashboard look a lot more aesthetically pleasing. So, so as you can see I have a weather widget and then on the left side I have this clock and two buttons. Also I have this mental note section which is just a template button and then a monthly, weekly and daily goals as well as a project progress tracker, habit tracker, tasks table and then four sections with multiple pages inside of each of them. So yeah, this is really useful to have one main Notion dashboard from where you can access pretty much everything. And I also have a full Notion aesthetic tutorial on my YouTube channel where I go through the whole process of creating a new dashboard and using widgets and customizing everything. So the link to that video will also be in the description below. So next we're going to do the text. So I'm just going to type in example. And now you can click on this menu button and you can change the color. So the background or the text color. Uh, you can also do both. So say for example a blue background and then highlight the text and then you can change the text to say orange. So this way you can change both of them. And I'm gonna make a heading. So one hashtag is heading one. And then I'm also just gonna type an example. I'm just example text. And then you can highlight this and then click on this which will turn it into code. So this will turn it into code and this looks really nice. And you can also of course make it bold, make it italic, underline and strike through. It will of course look different on the code text than the normal one. So for bold it's just control B, italic control I, control U for underline and control shift S for strike through. So you can just use this and play around with the text and see what looks good. You can also use a call out option, which can be nice because this allows you to add an icon so that you can like add a quote or something or like headings or whatever you'd like. But the call out is also a really nice option. And then another customization option is the quote. So this just adds a divider at the side and then you can just type in normally and yeah it will show up like that. In the description is a link to my Notion templates playlist as well as a link to my Gumroad website where I sell all my Notion templates as these templates do take a lot of time to create so you don't have to. If you have any questions or feedback be sure to leave a comment and if you found value in this video then be sure to give this video a like and consider subscribing for more. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.